So this is my favorite knife case for transporting my working knives from my house to the restaurant. I have two of them. And these Craftsman truck box, they are discontinued, unfortunately, many years ago when Sears went belly up, they got discontinued and realistically they will never come back. And I hate with passion those commercially available knife rolls and knife bags. Knife rolls are worst. A little while ago, I showed you these inexpensive drumstick bags. And they do work to a certain degree. They all hold 270mm Yanagiba in Saya. The catch is all of them. You can't completely close the zipper. Oh, this one can. Yeah, this one, if you don't have that much knife, you can completely close it. But what happens is that a little bit of the butt end of the grip will stick out. This may or may not be a deal breaker for you. Sorry about the construction noise. Um, anyway, so because I never take bus or train to work, to me this is not a big deal. This still works. But I just realized the other day I actually had a solution, better solution than this. What did I have? I have had them years. I just didn't notice it. So this is a soft gun case made for Smith and Wesson M29 8 and 3 8 inch barrel. Specifically designed for that because any frame with over 8 inch barrel is a pretty big thing. It wouldn't fit in a universal case. But it can hold all my essentials. 270mm Yanagiba and 240mm slicer. Morihashi. You know, this is not a weapon. This is a kitchen utensil. And lever. All fits in here nicely. Sometimes the answer is just right in front of your eyes. I just never thought about using it as a knife case. And you can completely close the zip. The only downside is that makes you look like you are carrying a handgun. So if you have to take a bus, train, cab, Uber, this is not going to work for you. You have to put this into a backpack or a sling bag. Don't walk around the downtown with you know, this thing like this. And another possibly better solution, not for everyone, but if you need to carry multiple knives or even longer one, like 300 millimeter, this bag is made by the same company. And this one is designed for Thompson Center Contender. 
the size difference is like this. And this one, you can actually kind of hold it like this. And this has a lot more space. So if you want to carry a full set up, this is good. Also, this uh, my longest knife, I believe, Shibata Kotetsu 270mm slicer. You can fit a lot more. And it has two pockets. So, slicer, yanagiba, gyuto on one side, and the deba on the other side. Morihashi. Yeah, maybe you can even fit the sears, but I think you would better put the sheath on. Oh, this is so much nicer than those knife rolls and knife bags. It has two pockets, and this is cheaper than knife bags, knife rolls, and this works a lot better in order to access contents. You don't even have to fully unzip it. And pick up what you need. Ace case. Proudly made in USA. Nice. Oh, by the way, do you know why this is a real deal? Because in California, when you transport firearms, they must be empty. Magazines, ammo, they must be kept in a separate container. And most importantly, well, not most importantly, but very important, the case container must be lockable. You have to have a place to put Lock on. This one, for example, if you need to carry one Yanagiba, one Deba, let's see if it, I can fit it. Yes, they all fit. Um, zipper can be fully closed. So, this is my current minimalist setup for my work. Um, they all fit nicely. Zipper can be fully closed. Doesn't take up that much space. So much nicer than knife bags and knife rolls. Why nobody on YouTube have ever said about this? Using gun case for carrying kitchen knives. Oh, by the way, my sheath has a magnet on the back. What it does is, if I ever lose this pin, it still holds the knife. It doesn't slide out. And also, it actually aligns back of the blade, so it doesn't, you know, get stuck in the middle. If you have these things, you know what I'm talking about. And even better, you can keep this. You can keep knives like this. The key point is. Keep the longest knife at the bottom. And Deva and Morihashi. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.
and see you in the next video.